So this afternoon, we are so excited to talk about our very own sister, Hilda Bassi. Yes, she has done something remarkable and we need to appreciate her because with, with us, we celebrate our own. So let's go. Now, one individual, not a male, but a female from Nigeria has taken the internet by storm. Yes, and we are so happy to share in the news of her success. Why? Because she has lifted the banner and flag of TV and art education very high. For the first time in the history of people, the internet was not about politics. It was not about football. It was not about Russian and Ukraine war. It was about a young 27-year-old lady from Nigeria who owns a restaurant who is passionate about food and the food business who is passionate about art and wanting to break a record that was set in 2019 by an indian and guess what her name is madame hilda bassi so let's just take some minutes to break this event down and talk about the part that others are not talking about because that is what we do in rona 360. First of all, her real name is Hilda Basse Efion, and she is from Akwaibom State. In fact, her village is in Sita, in Sita Ibium, in Akwaibom State. She owns a food brand in Lagos, and the brand name is Food by Hilda. Now, one very important thing worthy of mentioning is that Madame Hilda Basse has cooking and food business running through her blood. Her mom is a renowned chef in Nigeria who owns a popular restaurant by, by name Calabar Pot. This is really amazing and it's worthy of mentioning. Why? You see, in Africa, there are so many young men and women who have graduated from the university who have certain vocational traits in their blood or in their family but feel so shy to continue the vocation of their parents or their ancestors, giving reason that they are demeaning or that they are less paid. Hilda is a typical example of people who graduated from the university, came to join their parents, do the job that they've been doing for years and have even used that to take care of them through schooling and even took it a step further by establishing their own version of that same business and then winning awards with it. This is an encouraging act for young people in Ghana that if you have certain vocational traits, handy traits, jobs, talent in your family, don't let it go waste. Take it and take it to the next level. I must say that she is one of the luckiest and few people who has the opportunity to serve some of the top, uh, top powerful people in Nigeria. For the records, she has had her restaurant being visited by Muhammadu Buhari. She has also had her re 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 restaurant being visited by the all-star Burner Boy. And guess what? For the first time, the newly elected president of Nigeria even tweeted about the success of her daughter. I'm saying her daughter because that is what is custom in Nigeria. When a young person does something and an older person, especially the caliber of the president of Nigeria, talking about such a great event, it is worth the source. But let us go deeper into the life of this lady and why she deserves all the attention she had just some few days ago. She went to Madonna University in Nigeria and she did sociology and as students after school after graduating you know she went into acting and tv production and she was the contestant who competed against kumoji chef serum kumoji from ghana one of the popular world-renowned best chefs in ghana when the program was held for ghana nigerian jollof competition and guess what she was the one who won by cooking the popular nigerian jollof and took home a whooping five thousand us dollars yes so she has already shown the prowess that cooking is what she loves 
and she has come to stay in the food industry, the TV industry, and she deserves all the accolades. For the event that took the world by storm, this young Nigerian cooked for four days non-stop. In fact, so even before the marathon, the former record holder, the Indian, actually took to Twitter and wished her all the best and said, all the best on your journey. I wish to see you in the Guinness World Record Book of Fame. And that is really inspiring. That is a woman wishing another young woman all the best. And it brings joy to our, our heart. But she actually stood and cooked for four days non-stop. And she, is not, she was not permitted to sit while cooking. She was not allowed to take coffee or any stimulant or any energy drink to artificially boost her energy and bodily strength while cooking. Even though she was allowed to take glucose. Yes glucose or food juice that is allowed and not stimulant like an energy drink now the cooking took place at the amori gardens in leki lagos state nigeria the cooking marathon went on from morning afternoon evening and night so for four nights she didn't sleep she just had five minutes rest per hour every day just to you know take the glucose and the fruit juice and sort of rest and then re return to the, the cooking. Every meal and every plate served is recorded. So she cooked over 115 meals. The cooking started on Thursday and it was expected to complete the time frame by Monday 15th May 2023 evening. And she did that with 800 hours. The current holder for your information whose re re record is broken is a renowned Indian chef. And her name is Lata Tandon. And she set this record with 87 hours, 45 minutes, non-stop in 2019. Hilda did that with 100 hours, going way beyond the 87 hours. Now, for this record to have been broken, Hilda just needed to cook for 96 hours. But she went extra to get to 100 hours. This is good news. This is good news for anybody any young person in Africa. Now, let me take another time to break certain things down and drive your attention towards something very important. You see, the reason why Rona360 is ranting about this girl's success is, is that we are overjoyed that for the first time, cooking as an art and this time round as a profession has taken center stage in the Guinness World Records and is done by a young lady from Africa from our neighboring brothers nigeria we are happy about this because it will give hope this will boost the morale and encourage the many young people who are in tvet training centers who are doing vocational and home economics in schools who think that they will not become popular or will not get anywhere with the cooking knowledge or skills they are acquiring of course we are living in the age of social media we are living in the age of branding and so being popular and being known with what you are doing is also important this lady has shown that you can cook you can be popular you can break world records and you can do all this whilst remaining an african whilst living in your home country in africa here in a case in nigeria and you can do that with the basic tools and materials you have this is so inspirational this is so thought provoking this is good news for anybody watching anybody who is thinking of going to school to study canary anybody who is thinking of investing in her nephew his nephew his niece or her niece or a relative to go to any of the tv centers that we have in ghana to go and learn catering because she has proven she is the test kit that we can cook we can learn how to cook we can go into the food business be successful, be a record ho 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 holder, and do all this to the amazement of the world. So, Rona360 is proud of her, just as our brothers from all the African continent are proud of this achievement because it has put in Africa on the center stage. It has put in TV education, food catering on the world map. It has put in African food on the map because she didn't cook international uh, uh, cuisines. She cooked Nigerian jollof and other local dishes in Nigeria.
That is why I said in all, she served 150 meals. All local. This is good news for us. We wish you all the best. And that's all that we have f- for you. We believe you are inspired by her act. And it, it is going a long way to change your perception about visual art education, about art education, about catering in the TVET sector. This is a win for TVET. This is a win for art education. This is a win for African l- ladies. 27 year old. She has done it. And we believe you can, you can all do it. Click on the notification bell if you've not done so. So that you'll be notified anytime we post. Click on the subscription button so that you can subscribe and help make this video go far and please click on the like so that youtube can recommend this video to other people that's what we have for you we'll meet one more time again bye bye